Season 6 for Destiny 2 is finally here, and we're going to find out everything that is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, Season of the Drifter is finally here, and there's tons and tons of stuff that is going on in this wonderful season. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken giveaway for the month of April 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, let's go ahead and start with the milestones first. We have two of them, we have a new season begins, and we have to go ahead and talk to Tess Everest. Then we also have Gambit in its prime, and we will definitely go ahead and talk to the Drifter. So, as for the Traveler, we have uh, Ikora, which we need to complete 20 bounties of any kind. Then we have to earn 5,000 XP for your clan, as well as forge two weapon frames. And here is where we go ahead and talk to the Drifter, as well as Tess Everest. Coming down to Titan, we have the Flashpoint, which is on Titan, and you need to complete uh, public events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. If you do the Heroic Public Events, you can get this done a lot faster. Then we also have the uh, Heroic Adventure, uh, Bad Neighbors. Coming down to the Vanguard, we need to go ahead and complete three story missions as well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week on strikes are Solar Singe, Iron, as well as Brawler. Then we have your Nightfall, which you need to complete a Nightfall strike, as well as complete one with 100,000 points. Nightfalls this week are Strange Terrain, Seventh Student Song, and Will of the Thousands. Then we have Gambit. And this looks pretty interesting. So for here, we have the Reckoning, which uh, successfully complete Reckoning runs. Higher tiers grant the more efficient progress. And apparently you, there's a hundred. Hmm, definitely interesting. Then over here we have regular Gambit, which you need to go ahead and complete three Gambit matches. Then we have Gambit Prime, which you need to complete four matches and this right here is the private match for Gambit. Oh my God. I am actually really excited about this. Next, we have the Crucible, which you need to go ahead and complete five Crucible matches. You can do this in any of them except for private matches. Crucible this week is Mayhem, or at least the Crucible uh, event this week is Mayhem. Definitely gonna go play in that. This could be so much fun. Then we have the Dreaming City. Petrovenge is located in the Devalian Mists, and you need to complete two of her weekly bounties. So real quick, later on tonight, I will be streaming Gambit Prime on my Twitch channel, and you guys can actually check that out at twitch.tv forward slash guardian underscore watcher, and definitely come in, hang out, and uh, we definitely could talk a lot about Gambit Prime. So let's go ahead and see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse for Season 6 this week. So, we do have new engrams, and they are called Notorious Engrams, and let's find out what is inside of them. So, we have all of the armor for all of the classes, and I will say, the armor for uh, the Hunter looks pretty badass. Oh, that looks extremely familiar. I really like it. Let's go ahead and check the ornaments. We have this one for the last word. This one is for the prospector. Then we have another one for the vigilance wing. And I say another one because they got like six. Then we have this one for the Wardcliffe Coil. That actually looks pretty cool. 
Then we have this one for the Rat King. I haven't seen a Rat King ornament in a long time. Ooh. He's like a little blue aura as well. It's kind of like this was like, um, frosted and ice. Then we have one for the colony. That looks pretty badass. I, wow. Good job on the uh, guys who does the ornaments. Then we have this one for the Cerberus plus one, from which I still don't even have. <laughs> Meh, I like the original look better. Then we have this one for the Malfacents. That looks pretty beautiful. Like it really does. And then we have one for the chaperone. Nah, eh, it's pretty plain, I guess. As for the legendary ornaments, we have one for Doomsday. Then we have one for Nightwatch. Last Man Standing. Lonesome. Soul Survivor. God, these gaming weapons are beautiful. Uh, Bug Out Bag. Twenty-one percent Delarit Del, <laughs> whatever. It, it, this is the one it's for. I can't even say it. <laughs> then we have uh, one for the oxygen SR three. Then we have itsy bitsy spider. Got the little Soros on it. Coming down here for the ornaments, we have Unyielding for the Oath Keeper. Then we have uh, one for Liar's Handshake. Ooh, that's a nice knife. Kind of reminds you of uh, Assassin's Creed, just a little bit. Then we have one for the Ursa F uh, Furiosa. Oh, can't preview it. Not on my uh, uh, Titan. Then we have one for Stronghold. One for the Skull of Dire Ahamkara. I definitely want to see that one. And then one for the Getaway Artist. As for ghost shells, we have Hissing Silence Shell. Then we have Plasma Shell. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. I want one. And then we have Sunshot Shell. Why would somebody make this? Who thought this was a good idea? This thing looks terrible. <laughs> oh my god, I feel bad for my ghost if I ever put them in this. And then we have a whole bunch of uh, legendary shells. I'm not gonna go over the shells, um, at least not the legendary ones, because these are ones that you could simply just look at. As for new emotes, we have the chair pop.
Then we have the chicken dinner. <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> then we have rock out. A little violent. And last but not least, we have the cup of tea. And I guess we'll go ahead and uh, do these ones. Respectful handshake. That looked more like you guys were playing arm wrestling. And nobody won. <laughs> Boxers dance. Grooving. Cloister dance. Newish dance. Shake dance. Oh, this is going to be my new one for uh, PvP. <laughs> That's going to piss so many people off. And then we have Reload. Directed Plea. Wasn't me. And then last but not least, we have watching you. <laughs> I do that with my son a lot. <laughs> As for sparrows. We have uh, Bare Bones SL19. That's a sparrow. <laughs> I mean, it lives up to its name. It is definitely Bare Bones. Then we have another inspired idea. And then last but not least, we have Praxix Finery. Oh. Okay. That looks pretty badass. And all these can, you know, you guys can just check these out because they're just legendary. They don't really do anything. Just free skins. As for the exotic ships, we have uh, Skulking Fox. And then we have Threat Display. Total reskin. And the same concept, go ahead and just look at these whenever you guys get the, ta uh, the chance. Shaders. We have two, four, six, six new shaders. This is Bloody Tooth. Pretty decent looking shader. Atlantic Rush. Oh, that's so bright. Chrome Stock.
Redigris? Reef made? And then last but not least, Warbrick. And let's go ahead and preview the mods. So we do have several projections. We have Treacherous Projection, Siva Projection, Crane Projection, Viper Projection, uh, Moat Projection, Invade Projection, Bank, Collect, Fight, and Twin Snake. Transmat Effects. We have Twin Snake's Effect. Jade Coin Effects. I can't even say that. Or Sterlile Neutrino Effects. <laughs> Ooh. That looks pretty cool. Then we have... Uh, this one? <laughs> I'm sorry. My mind is like other places. And then all of these are older Transmat Effects. As for bundles, we have the Prime Time Bundle. This comes with five Notorious Engrams, three Fire Team Medallions, as well as 250 Bright Dust. Then we have the Gravitational Effects Bundle. This comes with three Notorious Engrams, a new ornament for the Graviton Lance, which I will say does look pretty badass. Not as good as uh, one of the other ones, not the, the Nebula one, but looks pretty good. And then we also have the Transmat effect as well. And then we have a Guardian's Best Friend bundle. This comes with good, good doggo. It was like my husky. <laughs> you throw things and she just watches it hits her, hits her face. Then you get your fire team medallions and then your uh, jade coin effects. As for this week, we have grooving, awaken the war mind, vehicle, another vehicle, ship, another ship, ghost shell, fight projection, the. Uh, armor of the week, sorry, is leg armor. Then we have the uh, ornament for the chaperone. An ornament for the loaded question. Transmat effect, transmat effect. Uh, I can't even say this shader, but it's a shader. This is what it looks like. For me, it's blue. We already know what that looks like. Then we have your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard, Gleaming Boon of the Crucible, as well as your Fire Team Medallion. Coming over to Commander Zavala. We got your uh, bounties, but we also have a new hand cannon called Service Revolver. This comes with True Sight HCS, Crossfire HCS, Armor Piercing Rounds, Accurized Rounds, Outlaw, as well as Zen Moment. Ooh. And it also has a Masterwork of Stability. I wish it was range. It would have been a little bit better. We also got a uh, Redeployment Quest as well. And this will give you the Oxygen SR3. As well as a wonderful new Season 6 uh, emote. I'm sorry, not emote. Um, emblem. Go ahead and pick that up. 
So, as for Lord Shax, same thing. We get your wonderful uh, new bounties. Then we have From the Mouths of Babes. And this will give you the reclusive. And apparently this is a last perdition that he gives you with Rampage and Ranch Rangefinder. Why? Anyways, this has SLO 21 post, SPO 57 front, uh, SRO 41 ocular, Accurized rounds, uh, tactical mag, sorry, a rangefinder, and rampage. And this actually has range for a uh, masterwork. So the drifter has changed his location and he is located down inside the annex. And right here. So after talking to him, we are going to go and go ahead and grab this wonderful thing. And he actually has new bounties. He has uh, Power Surge bounties, as well as Gambit Prime bounties, and then his original um, Gambit bounties. Just go ahead and look at those. New quest, as well as a new emblem. And that, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.